Hi, my name is Alison Zapata. I am a Mexican-American artist. I didn't grow up speaking Spanish, but as a Latinx, I wanted to identify with my culture as much as possible. So I've been able to do that through art and music and teaching. Today, I'm going to show how to make a alebrije based on Pepita from the movie Coco. In the movie Coco, Mama Imelda's spirit guide, Pepita, is something called an alebrije. But what is an alebrije, you ask? An alebrije is a Mexican folk art sculpture which is brightly colored with lots of patterns. It originated in Mexico City with an artist by the name of Pedro Linares. In 1936, he had a vivid dream of a forest with lots of different animals. But these weren't regular animals. These were animals that were totally mixed up, unlike anything he's seen before. There were donkeys with butterfly wings, roosters with bullhorns, and a lion with an eagle's head. And in the dream, they kept on saying the word, alebrije. When he woke up, he knew they had to turn these animals into sculptures. That's how Albrejes began. And through the years, they've become some of Mexico's most well-known folk art. Pepita herself is a combination of a few different animals, primarily a jaguar, which is a very powerful animal in Mexican mythology. She also has the horns of a ram, the wings and talons of an eagle, and the tail of an iguana. When the filmmakers at Pixar visited Oaxaca during their research trips, they also saw so many beautiful sculptures and they were inspired by them. So they decided to make them these spirit guardians into the land of the dead as a way of incorporating this beautiful art form into the film. I hope you enjoyed learning about Alibri Hayes today. The next time you watch the movie Coco, let's see how many you can find.